Selling NFT crypto art is the latest craze and it has opened up a world of possibilities for digital artists to sell their work online. I will quickly cover what NFTs are and then I'll show you the step-by-step -step process of how to upload and list a piece of your artwork as an NFT using rarible.com. I'll show you how to allow the purchaser of your art to unlock digital content when they buy it. And I'll show you how to collect a royalty every time your artwork is resold in the future. Think about that. If down the road your art becomes worth more, you can continue to profit from secondhand sales. NFT stands for non-fungible token. Interest in the NFT market skyrocketed after world-renowned digital artist Beeple sold digital copies of his artwork at auction using NFTs and made an incredible $3.5 million. While that's the most successful case to date, a wave of digital artists and prospectors looking to buy up artwork from the next Beeple have emerged. If you think you might be the next people, the good news is anyone can sell their art as an NFT. A non-fungible token uses the Ethereum blockchain to create a unique and unforgeable code that can prove ownership of something digital or something in the physical world. These are perfect for digital art, but future uses could also include concert and airline tickets, game licenses, and even real estate deeds. So while a piece of digital art can be reproduced, the underlying token cannot. Only the holder of the token is the true owner of the art. No two tokens are the same, and this adds scarcity to your digital works, and therefore value. There is a catch though. Creating the NFT actually costs money because you have to pay for something called a gas fee. Gas fees are required anytime you create or change an NFT smart contract. Gas fees are what Ethereum miners gain for authenticating the transaction. Recently, these gas fees have increased to record highs because of huge demand on the Ethereum network. There are a handful of places to sell NFTs. Super Rare is one, but Super Rare vets its sellers to ensure they are established artists and they don't allow just anyone to upload art. If you are relatively established on social media, give Super Rare a shot. For the rest of us, Rarible.com is a great alternative. Anyone can sell on Rarible, you just need to set up a wallet to serve as your digital bank account. So step one is setting up your wallet. The most common and highly recommended wallet seems to be MetaMask, which plugs into your browser as an extension. The wallet is what handles all of your NFTs as well as your Ethereum. Ethereum is the second largest cryptocurrency behind Bitcoin. But unlike Bitcoin, Ethereum is designed to serve more than just as a currency. It's the Ethereum blockchain that's most used to create smart contracts and NFTs. So to sell NFTs, you are going to be using Ethereum. Set up a MetaMask wallet and install the plugin to your browser. Remember you will need to pay gas fees so you can fund your wallet now with some startup money or wait to see what the gas fees will be. They fluctuate so it is impossible to recommend a starting amount. Now let's head over to Rarible.com. On Rarible, you don't create an account. Instead, you connect your wallet. So click connect and follow the instructions. When I connect to my wallet, I can see all of the NFTs I've created, those I own and those I currently have listed for sale. Click Create to create a new token. Here you have two options. Single lets you create a one-of-a-kind piece. Multiple lets you create multiple copies of the same piece for a minimal amount more. Let me click Multiple to point something out you might want to be aware of later. Notice the collection options. The Rarible collection is the default collection. With this, your NFT will be part of a collection of all NFTs listed on Rarible. This is the option most people use. But I have previously created a collection for my own work, where I have created 5 to 20 copies of most of my art. There are some benefits to creating your own collection, but it costs additional gas fees to set up. Let's click back and see what happens when we select single. With the last token I minted, I wanted to make a single one-of-a-kind NFT. I noticed that under this option, my Brandon's Drawings collection wasn't available. I could create a new collection, but I didn't want to. I ended up posting the new NFT to the Rarible collection, but now regret it because it's not together with my other artwork. I later learned that even if I did select multiple, I could still use it to create only a single copy of my art and include that copy with the rest of my collection. So for that reason, I have decided to always select multiple even if I only want to create one copy. If you don't care about having your own collection, you can choose whichever one you want. For this demo, I'm going to select multiple. Here, you can upload your artwork. You can currently upload PNG, GIF, WebP, MP4, or MP3 files. Some files not listed here also seem to work like JPEGs. 
There is a 30 megabyte limit on the file size. This recently increased from 10 megabytes. Selecting put on sale will automatically list your NFT for sale. You'll want to select instant sale price and choose your listing price. Otherwise, people can bid on the item, but I found it better to select a reasonable sale price. You enter your sale price in Ethereum. Luckily, when you put in a price, it tells you how much that translates to in real money given the current value of Ethereum. Notice that Rarible will collect a 2.5% service fee when sold. Once you list your token, you can reduce the price at no cost, but to increase it, you have to unlist it and then relist it, and this costs you more gas fees. I'm going to set mine intentionally high because I know I can lower it later. The unlock once purchased option is how you can allow the buyer and future owners of your token to download or unlock something. When you check this, you can enter whatever you want. It could be a digital key to unlock content, a redeemable code for a physical good like a t-shirt, or a link to a file. Here's what I'm going to do. I've created two versions of this render. One is a lower resolution and one is 4K. I'm going to upload the low resolution file as the main display file for the NFT but I'm going to allow the purchaser to download the high definition file by inserting a link to it here. You can use a link to a Google Drive, but you might want to start thinking about this. This NFT could potentially be around forever. Future owners will expect this link to be available. Although Google will probably be around for a long time, it'll be up to you and me to make sure that our files don't get moved or deleted. I recently learned about pinning files to the Interplanetary File System, or IPFS. I won't go into all the details, but in short, it's a way to keep files alive forever on the internet. I'm using pinata.cloud to upload the high resolution file and create a unique hash link that, in theory, should be available forever. Choose a name and enter an optional description. Be thoughtful because this will be permanent. Here you can select what percentage you will receive in royalties if your token is ever resold in the future. The first time your token sells, you will keep 100% of the profits minus the 2.5% service fee. The royalty is what percentage you will get from every subsequent sale of your token. So if it's set to 10 and you sell this token to me, you get 100%. When I resell it, I will get 90% and you will get a 10% royalty. The royalties last forever. 10% seems to be a common royalty, but I'm not trying to be greedy and I would like to make this attractive to a buyer or somebody who is investing in my artwork. So I will put 5%. Number of copies is how many of these tokens you wanna to make. You can do as many as you want, but keep in mind that scarcity is one of the selling points for NFTs. So if there are too many, they are not as rare, which may affect the future value and what someone is willing to pay for them. I'm only making one of these, so the lucky buyer can say they have the only one out there. Next, you have the optional properties you can enter. These can be anything you want them to be. I'm going to set one property as artist and enter my name as the value. Then I'm gonna make one for the year and I'll enter 2021. With my details entered, I'll press create item. First, the files will upload. Then, when it comes time to mint the token, my MetaMask extension will open and will ask me to confirm the minting of the token. Now we're gonna see where gas fees come in. Here it shows this token will cost $22.27 to mint. Like I said earlier, these gas fees fluctuate a lot. A couple months ago, I was paying around $8 to mint and people were complaining that was high at the time. Just yesterday, I tested a similar project and the mint cost over $40. So if you see ridiculously high gas fees, consider trying again later. Now the token is created and I have to sign the order to sell it, again using my wallet. Sign lock order and we are done. It can take a few minutes for your token to appear in your collection. There we go. My token is now on the rareable market and ready for purchase. You see this one says one of one because I only minted one. Where this one says 11 of 20, that means there were 20 created and I currently still own 11 of them. If I click these three little dots, I have the options to change the price, transfer the token to somebody else, remove it from sale, and burn the token. Burning a token permanently destroys it. This cannot be undone and burning a token costs a small amount in gas fees as well. If you created too many tokens of an artwork and want to increase the scarcity of it, you can burn off extra tokens. Notice the three icons on top of the token. The first one shows the token's collection icon. This one is part of my personal collection, while this one is part of the general rareable collection. The second icon displays who owns the token, and the third shows who created it. The yellow check mark shows that the artist has been verified by rareable. This helps to assure potential buyers that they're actually buying from a verified and legitimate artist. The verification process includes a review of at least two social media sites, a work in progress picture of one of your artworks, and it looks at how active you've been on Rarible. Let's take a look at what the buyer's side of Rarible looks like. 
click Explore to browse through collectible NFTs for sale. I'll scroll down a bit to find Filter and Sort, and I'll sort by cheapest. I'll click on one randomly and choose Buy Now. The price is a small fraction of Ethereum coin, but when my wallet opens, I see the gas fee is $27. This might be a limiting factor for some buyers. The seller has to pay gas up front to mint the token, and the buyer has to pay a gas fee on top of the purchase price. That's not going to change, but the gas fees are at all-time highs as of this recording because of demand. Hopefully they will come back down in the future. Let me show you one more thing. OpenSea.io is another popular marketplace for NFTs. I'll open an incognito window and go there. If I search OpenSea for my collection name, it appears. I haven't listed my items on OpenSea, but a user can find them and make me an offer. If I do choose to list my already minted token on OpenSea, I can actually choose different cryptocurrencies to list it with, including the USDC coin, which is essentially US dollars. This allows the sale price to remain more consistent even if Ethereum prices change drastically, which they do. This is not currently possible on Rarible. I usually create videos specific to Blender and 3D art, but this video should be useful for any digital artist. For that reason, I'll skip the usual request to ask you to subscribe to my channel, but if you've made it this far and the video was helpful, please give it a like. NFTs are exciting, and although nobody knows what the future will hold for them, they will definitely change the landscape of digital art sales as we know it. Best of luck to you, stay creative, and maybe one of you will head over to Rarible and swoop up the token we made for this video. Thank you.